Today I will explain how to generate a funky bass line for any chord progression. I can use any MIDI chord progression, but for now I'm going to use MPC Beats software in pad perform mode to make one up. Get the bass guitar out of your basement! For a bass guitar sound, I'll use the free plugin Ample Bass P Light 2. I duplicated my chord progression to another MIDI track, and I'm going to delete all the notes except for the lowest ones. This MIDI track will trigger Ample Bass plugin. And from the original chord progression, I'll delete the lowest notes to leave some space for my bass line. Here I have my chain of Ableton MIDI effects, arpeggiator, LFO MIDI Max for Live device, and the random MIDI effects. And now let's see how each device altering the incoming MIDI. LFO is modulating the rate of the arpeggiator, alternating subdivisions between 8th and 16th notes. And finally, I am going to engage the random MIDI plugin, which adds some funky notes and rhythmic variations. but I can do even better. The Ample Bass plugin has some key switches, which give me control over many bass guitar-specific articulations such as pops, slap notes, legato, hammer-ons and pull-offs, slides and many more. All sorts of beautiful noises. Here I prepared two stacks of MIDI notes with the same MIDI randomizing chains tuned to the range of low and high key switches of the Ample Bass plugin. Those will generate a random stream of key switching events to spice up my bass line. Now I am going to unmute those MIDI tracks and route them into my Ample Bass plugin. The key switches only. And now, this is the bass line. Finally, I'll record this stream of MIDI notes into a bass MIDI track. Here, Ableton 11 new comping feature comes in very handy. I have all those lanes and I can start comping. Twenty minutes later. One eternity later. 